Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, it's not often in the world, and, and honestly, there's not many people who get the chance to wake up in the most, one of the most remote places on our reefs. And, you know, for that, I thank you guys a lot, because you, you make it happen. You allow me to put my boat in a blue hole that I've never, ever been in, and, and possibly only a handful of people in the world have ever been in. Um, it was a little bit eerie last night. You know, I didn't didn't trust my anchorage 100%. If you look down here, hopefully you can see there's a patch of sand that's probably like 10 by 10. Uh, that's where I was. That's where I dropped my pick, and I'm surrounded by reef. Absolutely surrounded. So, like 10, 15 meters this way, I've got reef, reef, reef. And if you have a look, it's it's probably something you guys are. Uh, there's so many rules against it, but my anchor rope is exactly up and down. So I basically dropped it in the sand and just allowed the chain to hit the bottom, pulled it up a couple of meters and then tied it off because what happens is when you change and you drift around, like change a tide and the boat swings, that's when your rope actually hooks onto a bit of coral and you can get rubbed off. So. I've had it happen twice before and that's why now I'm just so, so careful about anchorages. But look, we're awake, anchor's still on, we're good, we're good for another night. We have a very cool game plan today. We're actually going to start making our way back towards the mainland. Uh, I think so far we've used about 200 litres of fuel, so 200 in a day for us, it's doing probably 200 kilometres. A lot of travelling, a lot of searching. Um, make our way back start diving some reefs and just live just live so join us along the day i'm going to fully keep you up to date with what's happening and what we find and then we're going to pull up at a reef that i know just has a massive big sand anchorage and i'm going to be very happy so I'm not complaining now i've had me coffee i'm about to uh sneak down the back and do my business so I'll better leave and I'll, I'll do that you guys can watch oh it's a trouty reckon on the shallows what? No, you didn't get me. Yes, I got your back. Oh. Nice little bass flip there. Only a little guy. But good to see him. Very good to see him here on the flats. Gonna do a tiny bit of plastics fishing. I'm gonna suss out which way we're drifting. We're gonna jump in and uh, get a bit exotic. Oh, get out! Oh, 
Oh my god! <laughs> wow! What are you? He's still in there. Ah, oh, got it. <laughs> Why? Gosh, they go hard, man. Off a good red throw, that one. Oof, man, they go so hard. Hey, like, incredibly hard. Great fish. Perfect dinner size, that one. Coming home. You are coming home, mate. Okay, so if you look just in front of me here, I've got pretty nice solid edge. And I've got this, these, all these like scattered bommies and then shallow section just in front. So we're just gonna do a drift down here. Current's coming through nicely and hitting it. And I'm just gonna cast this plastic, sink it down this edge and just hop it down. I'm gonna fish the first five meters, bring it in and just keep fishing. So you don't really wanna bring it out too much further because I'm running a plastic, it's gonna get heckled by us little mackerel and all the rest of it. I just want what's hanging on that reef edge. You think if there was a trout, he'd be on those front two bommies there. That's an absolute giant one, man. It's one of the biggest ones I've seen. Hiking, Hopefully you get the cut, no, they, they're called, I think it's a midnight cod. Some of the most incredible colors on it. Hopefully you can see that thing. And the teeth on them, the teeth are wild. Like if you go in, you're not coming out of there. But yeah, between orange, purple, white. Oh, giant brain down here. Why aren't we diving this, Michael? Oh, oh, don't do it. Don't do it to yourself. No. Oi, look at the boat. <laughs> look under the boat. Look at these fish. Oh, Look how many there are. Oh. You wonder why they call them <sighs> bludger. See you, buddy. Just let me cast at these brain. Oh my, I just put the lure. Oh no, no. <laughs> Dude, look at the boat. It's the best way to do it. Oh, they're so quick, man.
All right, guys, game plan here. Um, as you can see, we're at the very, very bottom of the tide. We've got sand caves, rocks, and all kinds of stuff popping up. So we're going to start working our way back this way. Uh, we've got two jig marks, which we found yesterday. We're going to jig. Then we're going to push onto a reef flat because the reef's kind of blocking a, a red mark that I've got in the distance. Um, so we're going to go jig, flats, push over the reef, jig for reds in the afternoon and then i've got my very very safe anchorage which is on inside that actual reef itself that'll put us back there for the afternoon and night where we're going to have a very safe anchorage and happy days We had that epic game plan you would have seen back there and the idea was to come through the reef, fish the reef, do the flats. We actually got to the reef itself and it, I've, it was so dry that I couldn't get on there. Basically you would have seen that drone footage where we came, we shot through the channel. Um, the best part about an incoming tide and fishing on the other side of this reef is... I'm just going to leave my vibe down there. Um, on an incoming tide, we're on the southern side of this reef. Are you kidding? Can you just... Hold on. He vibes, just trying to vibe. We're on the southern side of this reef, so all the tide coming through actually isn't hitting us yet, so we're just, we're, like, we've found these perfect, perfect little pinnacles. And, um... First one was amazing, and this is the second one. We're just going to fish here for the afternoon into the night time because as the tide rises, uh, we're going to be able to get back on the flat. So it's a really good, perfect scenario, really, to fish into the night. And honestly, have a look at it. Oh god! Oh, jeez! Let's take this serious. Oh my. There's one. Sunk it back down to him. I see you. Hooked him good. Coming in. Beautiful colours on old goldfish eyes here. <laughs> oh, you're in them. Oh, oh, you. As you said it, I looked back. Oh, they're fucking there, man. Yeah, I've got a bit on, can't he? Get up! Get up! Is that a big nanny? That's a nanny! Oh, Kaini! 
how did we just find this mark? Call them, Matty. Come on. I don't know, man. Don't. I don't want to jinx it. You're not allowed to jinx it. If you've caught a nanny, that's pretty incredible. Like, we just. Oh no. Can't slow down. Oh, no. No. Oh, sad. But happy. But sad. Isn't that crazy? That's how they look on the sand to camo themselves in. That was a 10 out of 10 landing. Oh, what's that? Look at this shit so I'll give you a, uh, I don't know if you might have heard. So I said to Kaney, the fish just uh, followed you down. So you can see here, a bit shaky. So this is Kaney's fish here. So his jig came down. The nanny came up to meet it, hooked him, gone down, down, and then he's pulled it all the way up. I've come here. Here's my jig coming down. Hook a fish here, find him all the way up. So you guys can see that, all right. Basically those small lines above the big lines are our jigs. The fish are just following them up, following them up. And now we've reeled the jigs up and the fish are going back down the bottom. So um, I've just put on a vibe and I've actually cast the vibe out and I'm just gonna hop it back through them all. It's be really interesting to see what happens here. If that change of lure will get a bite or once you shut them down, that's it. So if this doesn't get a bite straight away, we'll basically just get out of here and go to the next mark. All right, we're on the bottom. There it is. How's that? Pretty cool, just changing it up. <clears throat> Oh my god! <laughs> Lacey's he's just gonna he's dragging the boat. Man. <laughs> fish fish aren't silly, you know. Once they see something, it changes them up a bit. All you gotta do is change it up yourself. <laughs> it's brutal. Absolutely brutal. I just feel How like if going, it, I'm pretty beaten, <laughs> but I feel like if it was a red or a nanny, it would have been eaten, you know, like that's just the way it works. We all know this guy. Hey, buddy. Vibe versus ball jig. You'll get to the bottom first, oh, but yeah. you're on the bottom. Oh, I got bit on the way down. Yep, yep. Can he? Oh. Instant. Tratty rattle. A little bit. Oh, I didn't lose it 
Oh. Yep, hold it, stop it. Little wiggle. Yeah. Could be onto a patch here, Kenny. Yeah. Gotta see the colours on that thing. Wow. Yeah, that hasn't woken up yet. Yeah, it has. <laughs> oh. Couldn't do much there. I think. Couldn't do much there. I don't know what this is. It's not doing much at all. Oh, stop it. I'm on fire. It's a bit scary, really. Well, hopefully you guys can see that. The colors on that fish are just absolutely amazing. Can we just get a load of this afternoon, please? Vibes and trout, two peas in a pod. <sighs> Got him, Coney? Yep. Oh. oh, well, this possibly could be the end of day two. We started with a game plan. It was bangers, jump into a blue hole while well, the tide was incoming, do a bit of spearing, try and hit a bit of flats, which we did. We hit the outside. Chased a spano, which that's the only thing that conf... Got my Rodney down. The only thing that confuses me is the spano. Everything was absolutely perfect. They were there yesterday, just nothing today. But, um, absolutely beautiful. Our little reef home anchorage is just here. So we're gonna sneak in there very shortly. Uh, we are definitely gonna jig and vibe into the night though. We're gonna go back to that mark where Kaney got that big nanny and just give that a run right on twilight. Um, but yeah, what a day. This is what we've been waiting for. Like this time of year, you get these all day glass outs. He can't beat it, you honestly can't beat it. It's just best feeling, absolutely incredible day. So uh, if you don't see me again, That was fast. That was like Bruce Lee stuff. Uh, if you don't see me again, we haven't got a big red. And I'll see you tomorrow. We're just going to work our way back home. There's a few areas I want to fish on the way home. Uh, and then that's it, basically, for us. So, yeah, about three or four days, you'll see the next clip. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Yo! Have a go at it. I'll turn the GoPro off. <laughs> Come on, buddy.
I didn't need this caney, like. <sighs> Tell you what, it looks majestic. Does it look alright? <laughs> can you see it? I can see something. I think I know what it is. <sighs> Had a really good feeling. It was you. Oh my. <laughs> Is that the cod god strikes again? A bit of wrist action here, like if it was right, probably would have been okay. There's a bit of strength there, but um Does it do it justice of the size of that thing? No. Ready? Come on, big guy. Beautiful. Perfect. I didn't need that. <laughs>